But one of the things, there's just some interesting things about individual families and what plants are related. And when you start growing certain plants, one of the things I talk about is rotating my gardens around. And I always say, you got to rotate the crops every year. So if you grew carrots here next year, you grow the carrots there and then you put the potatoes in here. And then the next year you move those two over and then you put something else in here. And so, but if you know the families that they're related to, you don't want to be keep putting the same families in. I had a discussion with somebody about flea beetles earlier today, and they were saying, oh, my flea beetles are always coming. And I said, well, yeah, you, you, you got to rotate your crops, but you have to keep Solanaceae, that's the tomato and potato family, out of those areas, So if you, because they are the ones that get flea beetle. So if I have a bed with potatoes in it, I'm going to move it, but I'm not going to put tomatoes in there. I'm going to put a root crop like beets or something different. And just keep them turning over like that so that you're not building up insect pests and then use insect cloth to keep the insects but away. It's pretty straightforward. Insect screens are awesome. Just have absolutely no, no flying insects. All you have to deal with is the crawling guys, which you can use diatomaceous earth for. So fabulous to have spinach with no leaf miners. Like, oh my God, so good. What's that? Rats, you shoot them. No, I don't know. <laughs> Rats, you have to trap them and it's, it's not easy to do.